Today we are going to talk about the world's most famous real-life cyborgs. Humans are like machines, but like machines, they are not built with wires, gears, devices. What will happen if we are fitted with machines power to gain more capability? Would you like to be someone like Arnold in Terminator? If the answer is yes, then you have to wait for future technology. The technology to achieve something like that hasn't been developed yet, but this 20 real-life cyborgs photo will definitely show you the way. Number 1. Cameron Clap at the age of 14, Cameron Clapp was hit by a high-speed freight train and unfortunately lost his both leg and an arm. He underwent extensive rehabilitation and mastered independent walking only five months after the accident. He fitted himself with a series of advanced prosthetic limbs controlled by his brain with the help of a microprocessor. As an amputee, he has become an amputee activist. He is also an actor and athlete. Number 2. Claudia Mitchell When Claudia Mitchell had a motorcycle accident, she lost an arm. Later, her lost arm was replaced with a bionic arm and thus she became the first woman to be outfitted with a bionic arm. Number 3. Down Oliare after being electrocuted, she lost both her arms. She was then fitted with prosthetic arms called eye limb. Number 4. Dr. Stuart Malloy's Patients In 1998, Dr. Stuart Malloy conducted an experiment on implanting electrodes into women's spines as a treatment of chronic pain. At that time, he accidentally invented a way to investigate his patients to have orgasm artificially. He called the device the Orgasmetron. It helped the women to experience orgasm who have never had it before. Number 5. Gordon the Robot Robot Gordon was introduced in 2008 and the leader of the team which created Gordon was a cyborg named Dr. Kevin Warwick. But Gordon was not a customary robot as it was controlled by living brain tissue. Number 6. Human Universal Load Carrier Human Universal Load Carrier is an hydraulic-powered anthropomorphic exoskeleton. It is intended to assist shoulders in combat carry a load of up to 200 pounds. Number 7. Jerry Zalava Computer programmer Jerry Zalava lost his ring finger in a motorcycle accident and replaced it with a USB drive. He built a special prosthetic finger to use as additional computer storage for his photos, movies, and other useful files. The prosthetic looked like a normal finger but Jerry could feel it back from the nail and plug it in the USB slot of his computer. Number 8. Jesse Sullivan After being electrocuted, electrician Jesse Sullivan had to have both his arms amputated at the shoulder. His arms were replaced with bionic arms which were connected through nerve muscle grafting. This made him one of the first non-fictional cyborg of the history. Number 9. Kevin Warwick A professor of cybernetics in the University of Reading, Kevin Warwick is the founder of Project Cyber. He uses himself as a guinea pig and experimenting on different electronic implants since 1998. By installing a microchip in his arm, he can operate doors, lights, heaters and other computers remotely as he moved from room to room. Number 10. Michael Crossed at the age of 30, Michael Cross became completely deaf. However, he had partially restored his hearing when he had a computer surgically implanted in his cranium and he had his other ear implanted in 2007. Number 11. Mika Terho At the age of 35, Mika lost his vision and a pop making surgery left him implanted with a light sensitive microchip which acts as a substitute for a retina and which got connected to his optic nerve. Number 12. 
Neil Harbison. Neil Harbison was the first man in the world with an antenna implanted in his skull and he is the first one who was legally recognized by the government as a cyborg. His Wi-Fi enabled antenna sends audible vibrations in his skull to send information to him. Number 13. Nigel Ackland after suffering a serious crash injury of his right forearm, Nigel Ackland decided to have an elective transradial amputation. Later, Nigel fitted himself with a ba Later, Nigel fitted himself with a bay bionic hand. Now he can grip even a very delicate object, and he can do everyday tasks like driving, typing, shopping, and washing his hands with his bionic hand. Number 14. Mechanical Heart At Harvard University, scientists joined rat heart cells with transistors and wires to monitor tissues' electrical impulses. In this research, they found that mechanical instruments can control the tissue's behavior. Number 15. Oscar Pistorius The former South African sprint runner lost his both legs below the knees when he was only 11 months old. Later, he was fitted with suitable racing blades. He was one of the athletes to compete at both the Paralympic Games and Olympic Games. Number 16. Rat Bark Cybernetics researcher Kevin Vernick and his team has been working on creating neural networks that would be able to control machines and at last they placed a rat's brain within a machine which can change direction and moves according to the instruction coming from the brain. Number 17. Rob Spence At the age of 13, Rob Spence lost his eye after a gun accident. He was fitted a prosthetic eye with a video camera embedded in it. This eye was not connected to his brain but he could glance and blink with it. Later, he replaced his prosthetic eye with a camera eye and has already used different prototypes. Number 18. Six Sense Wearer Six Sense is a gesture-based computer system. Here, an individual projects information onto an object with the hand gestures. A camera is used to take input and nearby objects are used as display screens. Number 19. Stelios Arcadio a Cypress-born performance artist, Stellar believes that the human body is obsolete. He focused on extending the capabilities of human body and so in 2007, he had a cell-cultivated artificial ear surgically attached to his left arm. He also showed a performance with a robotic third arm and a spider-like six-legged walking machine. And number 20. Steve Mann a Canadian researcher and inventor, Dr. Mann, is well known for his work on augmented reality. He designed a headset which is connected with a number of tiny computers through which he can record video and audio and play it.